Hot temperatures and soggy, rainy weather are being blamed for a mold issue at Head Start facilities in Pinellas County. We're talking mostly here and there. Um, most of the centers have some small uh, spots of mold, typically under kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets, near air conditioning uh, closets, that type thing. Head Start Chief of Staff Amelia Fox tells me contractors are being lined up to begin the mold removal process. We are really still in the testing phase. Uh, this all came up over the holidays and we wanted to make sure we understood exactly what we're dealing with. So we're continuing the testing over the next few days and based on that testing, we'll do the remediation next week. Here's a look at the 11 Head Start locations with mold concerns. All remain closed at least until January 13th, about a week after the start of school. But even then, about half may need to remain closed for additional days. So we're working hard on that to try to um, really find any of our alternatives we can for the students to help continue make sure that they continue to get educated and also to help to ease the burden on the families. Which could mean shifting students to partner sites or even engaging home-based options. Exactly what kind of mold is growing in the centers remains to be seen. That answer will come from the testing being done. Bottom line. We're not going to open any center until we really know that they're all clear.